ladies and gentlemen, you join me at a late night, ooh, kind of aftermath video where, hello, my name is Paul Hughes and I've just come from watching another film, The, <laughs> the Death of Stalin, starring, well, pretty much an all-star cast, you know, it's kind of surprising just how many people uh, Amanda Iannucci managed to get on board for this project. Um, if you're familiar with uh, the thick of it, uh, and also like um, some of his other work, uh, basically it's kind of a similar thing in that uh, they discuss stuff that happens in Soviet Russia during the 1950s, where Stalin goes, <coughs> apparently, and then everyone else just basically goes on staging lies, treachery and deceit in very weird ways. It's all obviously very clever, very contrived and, and all the rest of it, but what I would say is the trailer for The Death of Stalin gives it as being much, uh, much more humorous than it actually is. What I could say Honestly, from what I, I saw of it, it's more of a drama with comedy bits in it because there are there are some good uh, funny moments, but they're certainly only sprinkled throughout uh, the runtime of this film. So the fact of the matter is, I tell you what, it's it. <laughs> what was rather odd about this is that everyone kept their own accents so there was no like uh, tr attempting to talk like this all the time or well, however Russians talk I obviously this is how I start an international incident just by doing that um, instead everyone just talked in their own voices and everything else and yeah actually played up to uh, their own characters quite well Jeffrey uh, Tabor Tamor, I, I, I forget what his name is he's been in a huge amount of, uh, of things including obviously Arrested Development for you know one of the best known things he's been in yes. uh, he, he is just outstandingly spineless <laughs> and he just yeah absolutely Steve Buscemi is also very good in this actually quite quite uh, believable uh, in the role uh, Michael Palin as well as uh, one of uh, Stalin's uh, you know cronies who was going to be killed and then isn't yeah because make no mistake I don't see this film ever going uh, down well in Russia itself simply because they they really do show some brutal behavior and brutal depictions of what was going on in the 1950s um, people being taken away on mass shot imprisoned just on a whim uh, everyone was afraid for their lives and and uh, I will say this, Jason Isaacs, uh, as the um, leader of the Red Army, uh, Captain Admiral Bloke, the, his accent and how he talks in it is, it's pure, it's a pure highlight because he just sounds so <laughs> English in this, is it? Whoa, come here you fucking cocksucker. You know, just talking like that uh, when trying to be all uh, authoritative and, and things like that. He just he just comes across as a guy who's just up for a fight no matter what. Which, hey, he, he is a leader of the army, so I, I guess <laughs> maybe that's correct. I don't know. But um, it attempts to give some history at the beginning and end of uh, the time that we're encapsulating. And then this is, I, I can only assume... Mandu uh take on this uh, whole affair. Um, shot very well, definitely in the exact same vein as he's done with other uh, political um, dramedies. Dramedies, yes, yeah, see, I'm using a, a new word for me. Expanding my vocabulary, that's what counts on Saturday night. Anyway, uh, so it's a little bit uh, all over the place, you know, some ridiculous things uh, are made uh, bigger than they ever should be and 
but it, it definitely is a much more serious tone at certain points so when there's the need to actually be serious in, in some respects they they don't shy away from it actually so that was kind of a surprise now in terms of what I recommend this if you like the thick of it and Amanda Mianucci's uh, other work yeah absolutely this uh, this is right up your alley excellent performances by everyone even uh, Olga oh what's her name you know the uh, she I first saw her in um, oh what was it the, the crap bottom film uh, quantum of solace or something like that uh, Olga K something I, I'm terrible with names I'm sorry Olga I'm so sorry um, but she was a, a pianist who wanted Stalin dead and yeah she was surprisingly good uh, actually th there was no bad bits in this to say I mean unlike um, possibly the best way to put it is that there was no way it lost my interest throughout I mean yeah uh, everyone was damn good in this actually it is certainly not going to be everyone's cup of tea absolutely I, I I can see where it doesn't have as much mainstream appeal as other films will do but suffice to say the death of Stalin yeah actually I would say go and watch really would uh, actually uh, certainly yeah definitely above uh, murder on the Orient Express <sighs> Right, well, that's me done here from uh, Sunny. <laughs> Sunny, he says, at, you know, at 11 o'clock at night. Um, with someone also screeching as well. Uh, my name has been Paul Hughes. I'm going to, like, bugger off home for some, uh, you know, chai tea latte because A is all cosmopolitan and shit. And until next time, campers, this has been another Aftermath video. The death of Stalin. Yeah, go watch it. I'd actually say, yeah, it's a, it's a good one. All right, till next time. Bye!